Then he earned 2,000 because he went 0-3 the last time we saw him. What gives? Listen, he was playing at the Madden Bowl. Uh, he, he put on a great performance there with Mutt's salary cap. He gets to the challenge. It's a draft champions event. Doesn't get his offense. Doesn't get his defense. I think that messed him up a little bit there at that event. Now, coming into this, the Madden Championship, he's poised, ready to go, especially after Spot Me Please put on a great performance yesterday. Philly over everything. And let's take a look at his money picks. DRC. And, of course, surprise, surprise, there's primetime. Primetime will be a big factor for his defense. But DRC, if we get into a situation where W, He's playing with a lead. DRC will become his user. He'll patrol all over the field making plays for him. Chad Johnson, Randy Moss, they'll be the downfield threats. Donovan McNabb, that versatile mobile quarterback. You're seeing this from all the players. Mobility at the quarterback must have. Well, putting your money where your mouth is with the Philadelphia Eagle gunslinger in Donovan McNabb. On the other side, you got the man from South Oak Cliff. That's in Dallas, Texas. He's number 19. Bandana Mills is ready to rock. Great nickname right there. RG gave it to him at the Madden Challenge. Kind of comes out of nowhere, but anyone on the competitive scene knows this guy is the real deal. He is indeed, as Rico said, top of the broadcast, the inventor of the Nickel Blitz. He has brought this defense to the entire field this entire year, and he's the best in the business at running it. Well, if he wins the 100K, he can go from one chain to two chains. <laughs> and he's got Willie Brown. Welcome to the tournament, Willie Brown. Yeah, Willie Brown, one of the first times we've seen him on a roster here in this event, and no surprise with Deion Sanders. Ezekiel Elliott, I like that versatility in the backfield, a little bit of speed, getting the, uh, the ball out uh, in the short flat for some passes. And then Aaron Rodgers, Julio Jones combination, really like that with his uh, mobility with Rodgers as well as the big arm. Well, he has a number two cap defense and a number 32 cap offense. So we'll see how this goes. And now it's time for my favorite part, the scattering report brought to you by Xbox. Well, for Dubby, it's all about stopping that patented nickel blitz from Jay Mills. And speaking with Dubby, he said that the most difficult part about trying to identify the nickel blitz from Mills is that he's sending it six defenders after the quarterback, which will flood both sides of the field and send pressure, or is he only sending it three? Three defenders off one edge. That's what's the problem that he has to diagnose. If he can figure that out in this game, he will win. He blitzes 87% of the time. For Mills, what does he got to do? Well, Mills control the clock. He runs the ball. That's the the, the the way he wants to win the game. Defense is going to help him uh, win this game as well with the nickel blitz, but control the clock. Dubby wants to be a, a game manager, but if, if Mills can get that upper hand on him, he'll have good advantage. So you have a number one blitzing defense against the number two passing offense. Dubby passes it 71% of the time. And here we go. Philly's own son, Dub Dot Dubby, will have the ball first. First and 10 from the 25. Philly over everything. And both these players have never matched up in a competitive game of Madden. They are friends. They communicate a lot throughout the competitive Madden season, but the first time they have been matched up on the big stage. They did have a common opponent in Hollywood. Mills went two and two against Hollywood. W went one and two. Of course, that one being a big one. Down at the Madden Bowl. First and ten. Here we go. Throwback unis for Philly. And Ricky Williams goes ahead and starts off the day with a 13-yard gain. Ground game will be very important for the success of Dubby's offense. When Mills puts both outside corners right here, out here, there's only one middle linebacker in the middle of the field. So if Dubby can run in the interior of the offensive line, he'll have a lot of success. And that's the best way to counter a blitz. It's to put the ball on the ground. He does it again here, but has a gain of zero. And what makes it difficult, though, uh, with you have a pulling guard from this set, you're able to shoot behind that gap, try to get into the interior of the, uh, the offensive line, take down the ball here. And now for Mills, he gets a stop. It gets him to a second and long situation. Got to watch Deion Sanders on the right side of your screen. He's across from Ocho Cinco. And he'll flip the side and try to pick it up. Can't pick it up. Got to get rid of it. And there's the man. Prime time, Deion Sanders. And let's go to Zach with a game break. Thank you very much, Scott and Gibbs. This is not a replay of Super Bowl 42 or Super Bowl 46, but the Giants are now up 7-0 on the Patriots in the first quarter. That's Hollywood taking the lead over Figgy. The G-men and those color rushes taking an early lead. Thanks, Zach. And there's another sack. And we've talked about it time and time again. 
Those block sheds are huge, and this time it's Aaron Donald. Not only are the block sheds huge, what makes Jay Mills and his defense different from everybody else, he has a high tendency to click onto the blitzing defender that's getting free after the quarterback, and then he dives at the feet of the quarterback, try to get them in a sack situation. That allows him to get pressure on the quarterback, a, a snap of your fingers quicker than everybody else in the tournament, and that's one of the big reasons why his defense is the best. So Deion Sanders tackles Deion Sanders. Now Deion was a Raven at one point, Ward number 37 to match his age. 37 years old, still out there. Of course, he was kind of a, he was actually a nickel corner with, with, with the Ravens, more of a third down guy. Talks about how good that defense was. Whew. But Dion and your nickel. Well, that's <laughs> Chris McAllister days, those are those days. Ray Lewis Oh yeah. in the middle. Ed Reed, ball Ed ball? Reed back there, big Suggs number 20. Coming in as rookie back then, those yeah. days. Suggs was tough. So second and seven. There's only been a few teams that won the Super Bowl based on their defense. That Ravens squad and then, of course, the 85 Bears. Greatest defense of all time. Third and one here for Mills. Got the three and out. Now has an opportunity. This is kind of the unfamiliar territory for him. Trying to move that football. He's the first to admit it, Gibbs, that He's terrible bad on offense. Yeah, he wants to run the ball, and that's a good situation to be in third and one. And that's why he's got Zeke Elliott, the former Buckeye, will bring it out to the 33. And you know, going back to your scouting report, controlling the clock, it looks like that's definitely one of the things on his mind. Elliott breaks one, but cannot get away. That was Brandon Watts on the tackle. Yeah, it's important to control the clock against a player like Dubby because his his objective is to control the clock. So if you take away one of the strengths of his game plan, that's going to help your your uh, yourself get the victory in this matchup. Dubby, one of the best in the business at clock management. Back to Zeke, and it's a slew of Eagle defenders. Dubby doing a nice job there on second, first and second down to force the third and nine. Yeah, here on third and nine, you need to start looking at some vertical patterns downfield. You typically will see a, a streak that will split the safeties here and then a couple crossing patterns as well. How about the Thanksgiving Herman Moore out there running routes? And this time he decides to go to Green and Ladarius Green. One of my favorite tight ends. Not a great blocker, but very serviceable out in the route running. Back to Zeke Elliott, he goes nowhere. Right there, you can see Dubby takes his user defender. That's the defender he's virtually controlling on the field. He shoots in the gap, takes down the ball carrier for a three-yard loss. That's a great way to start a first down against a guy like Mills. Now you force him into a passing situation here on second down. He's going to go bunch to the right. Rodgers throws it down the seam and almost picked off by Sean Taylor who breaks up the pass. That's going to force a third and 13. Yeah, this is exactly where Dubby wants to be. Watch for him to generate pressure off this right edge. He brings the safety up to help bring the pressure in. There's a the block shed. And that is Shane Ray. Campus hero getting that block shed and forcing a fourth down. Yeah, Shane Ray one on one on the outside. You can see he wins his individual matchup. No defenders open, forces a punt. I'll tell you what, Jay Mills, one of the few players and competitors here at this entire event that really believes in punting. You know, he believes so much in his defense. He says, yeah, well, don't force anything, punt the ball. Let's go to Zach for another game break. Scott, this is Figgy, he's battling back. Gets stuff, but does take the field goal. He's trailing 7-3 against Hollywood. Tell you one thing, Gibbs, don't sleep on Figgy. He might have a tough time versus Hollywood, but I think he's going to make some noise in this group. From all of the preparation, all of the games I've watched throughout this event, he has one of the most fire blitzes I have seen. <laughs> I can't wait to watch him on stream show that off. Second and eight for the 10. Well, motion from Thomas. McNabb. Quick throw. And that's the tight end, Cook. And he leans for the first down, but he's going to be just shy. Not a good look right there from what I'm seeing from the game film on that one. W pregame was specifically practicing with down here. You see the PA post. That PA post was a play that he felt confident to pick up pressure off that right edge. That pressure screamed off the edge. He had to get it out quick there. So 
Not a good sign. Goal line go. formation, five down lineman for Mills. Let's go, Ohio! 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 Ohio. Nav changes the direction, and sides to go for the sneak. That's going to depend on the spot. And it's fourth down. Something to note there, you can see that J. Mills comes out in goal line there. You can see all those big, big dogs in the middle of the field. And here we go, fourth and inches. Almost stole the snap there between the two. Almost, big play. Almost can't run sneaky. Got to go power up. I think. And he didn't get it. Turnover on downs. And I'll tell you what, partner. When I'm playing someone like Mills, I'm putting it. I'm making him beat me with his offense. Check it out again. Here it is one more time. All these defenders right there in the middle of the field clogging wow. lanes. McNabb gets hit directly at the snap of the ball. And now Mills in business with great field position. I love that camera angle. Don't at me, but you saw the penetration there. And Julio Jones, one-timer for Bandana Mills. Great play recognition right there from Mills. He sees that he gets a cover one man-to-man -man defense. He goes to a man-to-man -man beating play in corner strike. Gets the matchup on the outside with Julio Jones. And just like that, Mills, great field position, cashes in early. And I'm telling you just one thing. That's why I punt the football. I don't give him the ball in the red zone, but look at this, Gibbs goes one time. One play, Julio Jones on that break. Great timing and precision on that. That's something that all of these players, all these competitors here at this Madden Championship, that's one way to improve your game at home. Work on your timing with routes. All these def uh, players here spend a lot of time in practice mode, working on their timing to all of the receivers. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Scott, great defense over there, great defense over here. Figgy figures out exactly where Hollywood's going to go. He grabs it and goes all the way for the pick six. He's up 10-7. If I was allowed to have a guy, that's my guy. You're allowed. Take him. All right. That's your guy? I'm cool with that. That's I, I my love, guy. I love talking to Figgy before yeah. all these games. He just seems calm. He seems confident. He thinks he wants to show people that he can win here, not just win offline in ranked modes. A youngster, but... Very polite, very put together. Take a look at that play selection. You can see the balance. Second and 10. He comes off the left edge. And we're going to start, start here in yeah. Jay Mills a little bit here. Now playing with a lead. Yeah. He's got W in a third and long situation now. He's going to gas him up, and this is where you start to see Bandana Mills, his alter ego, come out here. He starts swagging a little bit, starts chirping over at Dunn. So he was here. just Mills he was just earlier. Mills. Now he's and now with the lead, he's, he's hit the Bandana level. There is, is not a more confident guy in this entire group. Uh, hanging out yesterday watching the game, he spoke after every single play and yeah. a comment about everything. It was fantastic to listen to. Third and ten. There's pressure coming off this edge. If W can't pick it up, it's going to be an issue. It's coverage. Got him open. B. Nab. Nice throw. Across his body. And out to the 40-yard line. Maybe that'll get the Madden Bowl champ going. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the play that's going to define this game here for W. Uh, can he pick up the nickel blitz from that specific play? We're going to keep coming back to it as this game develops. Play action. Quick throw to Thomas. And Thomas! Carries him out in the midfield, move the chains, wow. Yeah, good read right there. When you're blitzing that slot defender, the quick in pattern vacates the area where that blitz is coming from here. So that quick in was open right behind it. So good snap play by W. Quick throw, Ricky Williams, whoa. And it's on the ground. And he was laying on it and lucky to recover. That was close to maybe being something you could challenge if he didn't get it. Let's take a look at it again. Yeah, that's the ground. That's the ground causing the fumble. Just say you concur and let's move on. I concur. Thank you. <laughs> Second and ten. Cook makes a man miss. Stiff arms one. And now, Dubby's offense starting to finally get into a lather. Yeah, he's starting to be able to pick up that pressure off that right edge. So now does now does Mills now send, start sending this defender to counterbalance it. Couple of Ohio's, a little bit of motion. Nope, only off the right edge. He's picking it up very well. And goes right back to Cook, and 
If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This was the, the defining play. This was what's going to define for W. He had said, do I win this matchup or I don't? If I can't pick it up, I'm going to struggle. On his first few possessions, he was struggling to pick up the pressure off the edge. This drive, things are looking good. He's dumping the ball off in that flat, having a lot of success. Let's get a little Madden talk here. I love the levels. I love the spot concept. What do you think about the Texas concept? It's a great way to get the ball out of the backfield as well. If you're going to try and target your halfback out of an, out of an angle pattern, as a quick scream here. Yeah, right out to Ocho Cinco, who almost tiptoed it in there. He's out of the three. But it's a great way to get the ball up uh, to a short route and then get the ball for yak yards. So, you know, you, you got to like seeing that as well as part of an offensive game plan. Nice job finding Ocho Cinco on the right side after he basically pounded the left. McNabb looking to the back of the end zone. And wow. Hello. Oliver Vernon. 78 gold. Welcome to the tournament. Call that the training camp <laughs> Vernon right there. That's the special Vernon on his roster. But it gets quick pressure on the interior. Dubby now forced to go to shotgun here. Watch for a motion inside the Moss, snap throw. He's got him. Time goes to Thomas, but Thomas can't hold on. And I tell you, if you, if you can't hold on, I'd rather be at the eight than the one. We've already saw what he can do in its inches. Four sacks already. Now, Great play. Oh, wow. Touchdown for Cook. And Philly is on the board. And talk about composure there from Dubby. Yes, he's been sacked four times already in this one, but just methodical on that possession. He took what the defense gave him. You can see right here, mm. the flat pattern gets open, wide open, Cook in the short flat, gets in for six easy tie ball game. You know, Gibbs, you've gone out to a lot of tournaments. How'd you feel when someone like, yeah, somebody where they're from, you're about to play them? Oh, I'm from Philly. How does that, what, what does that do to your confidence? Uh, listen. <laughs> I never felt very confident going to any tournament <laughs> anyway, so it didn't really matter whether they, uh, they could have been from Alaska. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know if they play Madden. I'm sure there's some people that play Madden there, but yeah, no, listen, W did the you show up with your, uh, with your floaties already on? Already I did. blown up, ready I, to go? I did, just in the case if I got flooded. I already had my jeans rolled all the way up, too. First and 10, Zeke Elliott. Breaking free, and he'll pick up the first down. Let's go to Zach with another game break. After the pick six, 16 plays, 76 yard drive from Hollywood. He got down into the red zone, cashed in on the high point throw. He's got a 14 10 lead with two minutes to go in the second quarter. Wow, a lot of back and forth in that one, Zach. We got a tie game here in the second quarter. First game of Group G between Dubby and Mills, and I'm Calling it Group GG for goons. All the goons in this group. You got Dubby, you got Jay Mills, Figgy, the newcomer, who's riding hot on the scene, showing he can battle out with Hollywood. And Hollywood in his own right, talking to all the players, he just is a guy that always ends up, not even in the top five, usually in the top three, the first three guys they say are the best players in the world. We might have two of the top five players in this group, and Dubby and Hollywood. They'll face off next, and... We'll see if he can lose to a guy in an Odell Beckham jersey. Uh -oh. Zeke Elliott, a little bit of daylight, and that'll be enough for the first down. So a methodical drive thus far for Mills. Yeah, he feels very comfortable staying in this under center eye tight formation. Run the ball with Zeke Elliott. At some point, when's the play action fake coming? Eye formation again. Goes back to Ezekiel Elliott, who gets across midfield at the 49. And Dubby is going to burn a timeout. Yeah, I like that right there. He gets a stop on first down. Now second inch uh, medium here. He, he's going to try and get the ball back for a, a drive of his own. Got to somehow stop the run. Uh -oh. This time it's Darius Jackson. Don't call me Bo. And he might take it to the crib, but Harrison Smith knocks him out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Mills is in business. All smiles for Mills. A quick power row off that right edge. Look at that block right there by Herman Moore. Really paved the way for him. Darius Jackson, not enough speed to break away. So still an opportunity for Dubby to get a, a goal line stop here, only holding to a field goal. Philly fans, that was Jalen Ramsey, not Brian Dawkins, who missed that tackle. He doesn't have, have the X factor on his squad. 
We've seen a lot of them on a lot of different squads, though, but su surprising. We haven't seen, again, you said Anthony Barr, not a name we're seeing. Yeah, we haven't seen him yet. We'll see him a little bit. I think Kerry Q has him in that final group of the day, final group of the tournament. It'll be an exciting matchups there. Volderex, the Swerve King. Group H, Group Hell. Beautiful. And Herman Moore, that might have worked around Thanksgiving, but <laughs> that's a long time ago. Yeah, I like that decision, the quick slant out right there. Call that the Boogs. Boogs made that famous last year from Gun Ace Twins, that little spot pattern back of the end zone. I like that route combination for Mills. Well, maybe the weakest extra point we've ever seen, but it goes through. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Scott, it's Hollywood one more time. Six play, 70 yard drive. Quick snap on Figgy, the backbreaker route. He's up 21 10. See the. You want to take that back? <laughs> still, still my guy. Still my guy. He might go 0 3, but he's still my guy. Still my guy. Yeah. Character counts for something. I can tell you that. Plenty of time here for W to put together a drive. First and 10. Doesn't have any timeouts, but he does find Ocho Cinco out to the 41-yard line. And he won't go tempo yet. Yeah, great play design right there. You have a, a short slant that he motioned here, and then a deep cross there. Makes it really hard for Mills' user to defend. Didn't RB want to challenge open. the user that time, but he's going that's deep. Brown. Oh, that's 95. Okay. That ain't going to fly. Must Let's go to Zach with more on that other game. Scott, this game's heating up. This time it's Hollywood gets the sack, the fumble, oh the scoop, the score. Sanders, 28-10. Hollywood, that's my guy. Yeah, that's Hollywood's my guy, my Hollywood. Guy. Dude, no, I claimed him first. <laughs> I'm on the Hollywood. He has one of the best blitzes I've seen in this whole tournament. Mills with a three-point lead in this. 54 seconds left in the half. Dubby. Forced that's it. So Boy, come forced on, it. Man. That's so bad, man. What is that? That's, come on. Yeah, he forced that throw to coverage there. He could count his, his blessings on that one, but he does convert now third and short. What is it? It's, it's a four-point, you know, it's a four-yard completion. Yeah. Third and six. Great route combos by Dubby. Beautiful. Moss. Stop! But going back to Figgy, that's why I don't I pick guys. It. I don't want any curse. Oh, no. Yes. No, I don't want to be that guy. Boy. Watch this. Great route combinations. User has to be sucked down to the underneath route. Back, Moss boy. doesn't get his feet in bounds. I'm challenging Incomplete that. pass there for W. Can't challenge it. Anyway. Under two. two minutes and a half. That's tough. It's a tough break there for W right there. Yep. It's going to be in field goal range off of that. So now he punts back to Mills. Bond, I'm still telling you, he should have punted on fourth and inches. I mean, it would, this would free, be points. This would be seven to three. Three points yeah. for Mills on that drive. He's not a guy that's going to move the ball down in a hurry, so giving him a short field is something that's really advantageous to his offense. High formation, 21 seconds left in the half. He does have one timeout. I'm assuming he's going to be very conservative. See if he can get sticky with it. Zeke Elliott picks up the first down of the 21, and he will use that timeout. And now that he's out of timeout, Skibbs, you got to look for something to the sideline. Maybe you can steal three here. There's a lot of running room inside. I, I think most players would agree with what you said there, but Mills is a different kind. Here's a little play action fake, though. He wants to go downfield. He was looking for A, ends up going there, but it's a bit too late. But he does get his feet in bounds. He's at the 38-yard line. Clock stops with 10 seconds. and. Worth noting, he does get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, and I'm going to tip my ball cap to you there because you called that exactly right. Mills, a little play action fake off all those runs, and then it goes to that sideline pattern, gets a, a good spot here. A deep route, try to get into field goal range here with no timeouts. Let's see, I've been playing this game for 28 years. <laughs> I've run the PA, PA Power O a time or two, <laughs> two or in my day. Great pass protection. Downfield, trying to swerve it to Jones, and. That was DRC, who looked like he had never seen a football in his life. Yeah, he kind of put his hands <laughs> up there. What? Where am I? Huh? Two seconds to go in the half. Just for another inside run. A lot of running room off these power O's, though, he's had. And he will go to Zeke Elliott. Good cutback. Cuts it back. Can't get away from Krause, though, and that's how the half will end. But if you're Mills, you got to be feeling pretty good. You got a three point lead here over the Madden Bowl champ, Dubby. I mean, this was textbook the way Mills wants to play. 
Uh, he's been able to control the clock with his run game. He's gotten a couple big runs uh, with Ezekiel Elliott to, to really force the issue. And then, that, as you said, that decision that Dubby made to not punt really gives the advantage now to Mills with that short field and the touchdown off. Especially on third and inches, he proved that he had sneak D. Punt it away and live to fight another day. It's time for a halftime report with Dave and the gang. Thank you, gentlemen. Rico, we see here a pretty good first game to start things off. I think Mills, if you told him at halftime he'd be up controlling uh, time of possession, that's exactly what he wants to do, right? Absolutely. He was able to make W uncomfortable mm -hmm. on offense. He was W got a touchdown, but Mills has been control of this game on both sides of the ball. He gets the ball back. If he can put together a drive, W's going to have a little bit of problems. A little bit surprised just the preparation coming in. He's the four sacks was a little alarming. He did some good things to pick up the pressure. I don't question him on going for it on inches. He's very tactical. He knows the clock situation, the running the ball, the setups, and all the things just didn't go his way. Uh, I'm okay with that call there. He's still in this one, but he's got to get a big stop after the half with Mills getting the ball coming out. Yeah, Dubby's defense going to have to show up. We have another game going on currently. Right now, uh, Zach, two of the young guys here, Hollywood and Figgy. This one started out with a bang. You've got it. Mr. Hollywood, the touchdown, but you turn the ball over. We thought Figgy was in on this one. He was hyped up. He actually took the lead early, but Hollywood battled back, got a score, got another score, and he got the defensive score to put the stamp on it. He was going into the half 28-13, the lead for Hollywood at the half over Figgy. Well, it's time for Scott's guy, Figgy, to turn it around in this second half against one of the best players in the country right now. I want to remind everybody who's at home watching that the Xbox One S is the ultimate games and 4K entertainment system for Madden NFL 17 fans. You can play with friends on Xbox Live, the fastest, most reliable gaming network, and watch 4K Blu-ray movies. We are just getting started here in our final day of group play. We've got Dubby. He is the man of the hour. He is playing Hollywood, playing Figgy. Stick around for Boogs. But right now, we've got Drea on the field with Mills. Thanks, Dave. Well, Mills, I know how confident you were coming into this event. You've been playing great on both sides of the ball. I know you like to say you got the juice. How do you think you've been playing as far as just overall your conception of it? I feel good. I wanted him to play my game. He went for it on fourth. So that's three, three points. Like, I, I feed off three points. So he, yeah, you fell, he fell for it. And he said he wasn't. Gonna go, he said he wasn't go for it on fourth down. And he first time he got a chance, he fell for it. Uh, I did catch a big break before I had when a dude fell out of bounds. I don't, you know, hey, I'll take it. Hey, that's what it's all about in Madden. Sometimes catching breaks and having those breaks go your way. Well, overall, I know that you've been getting a lot of pressure on him, making him very uncomfortable back there. How do you capitalize on that momentum and get even more sacks in the second half? Uh, he's scared. He's not. Gonna, he's not gonna get sacked. He's gonna throw it. He's just gonna throw it. So I just gotta get the pick. You just gotta get. You can tell he's just throwing it. He he's just chunking it up. So if he go, he gonna throw a pick before the end of the game. I oh. believe it. Okay, there we go. We'll see what happens. Well, he had four sacks in the first half. Let's see what happens in the second. Let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. Thanks so much, Trey. Well, he looks confident. He's got a three-point lead over Dubby. The question is, is can Dubby get back to what he was doing there? Really working the ball and that Texas concept to Jared Cook is what led to the touchdown. Yeah, he's been able to uh, have a, a, his offense work for him, but he has to really focus on stopping the run here in the second half. Mills been able to move the ball at will from that I form tight formation, so I really want to see him focus on you know, bring some extra safeties in the box, play a little more aggressive on the run defense. Because if you can bottle up Mills and, and prevent him from running the ball, he's going to struggle. And he talked about it. And I know, you know, Farrell's at the desk, backed him up with that fourth and inches, but Mills said, thanks for the free points, bro. Free points. He cannot give a defensive minor player free points. Ask Trent Dilfer. And a big time, ooh. Hadn't seen the backwards juke in a while. It almost worked. He picks up six yards to start the game. Right out the gate, though, he, he's struggling here to stop the run. W, though, moves down to a 4-4. More linebackers on the field to stop the run. And Ezekiel Elliott has all kind of space, and he breaks the tackle. He's at the 20, the 10. See ya, Mills, with a 10-point lead. Here's the run off the edge, the power of... W puts four linebackers on the field. Two broken tackles to the crib. Both muscles. 
Crawford. So he's got a Fame double digit in. lead, 29 seconds. Boy, he's had two drives, both for touchdowns, oh, yeah, that sure. were bang bang. This is like Kyle Hill. Yeah, and really surprising there for Dubby's defense, the bad tackling from his legendary safeties, Harrison Smith and Sean Taylor. The two players that Dubby feels most confident on his roster just let him down big time. You don't see Harrison Smith miss a lot of tackles. Mills has put up 221 yards. That's usually his total for the whole tournament. He's controlling line of scrimmage. Run the ball at will right now in Dubby. Must score drive for Dubby if he wants to get back at this one. Oh, it's a bar. And he throws it deep to Moss. Oh, and we got ourselves a ball game. Goodbye. Straight Goodbye. cash home in. Maybe they'll give you another touchdown. They'll give you another touchdown. It's a good bat. How do you like they that? They give you another one. Man, they give you another touchdown. Talking about they. Is that us? I, 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 listen, I didn't give anybody, but right here, right at this point, you heard Mills go, it's a box. You thought he had him locked up. Randy Moss, that's what we said at the top of the broadcast. He takes the top off the defense, beats three defenders downfield, and Dubby, right back in this one, needs to stop the run on this drive. And I love Richard Sherman, but not able to help out and recover on that backside. He's great in coverage but not the fastest guy in the secondary. He is not hanging with Randy Moss downfield on a consistent basis. Michael Crabtree, sure, he can hang with them. <laughs> You're gonna need to put Dion. <laughs> You're gonna have to match him up, and not even Dion sometimes can hang. So first and 10, back to a three-point game. And Ezekiel Elliott oh, gets wrapped nice. up. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Scott over here, more of the same. First drive of the second half, Hollywood 35. But Figgy does respond, it's 35-20 over here. The fight rages. Well, it's Figgy's first game here on the big stage to be matched up against Hollywood and his offense. That's a tough draw. Yeah, and about two huge time, scores man. to start both of these games here in the second half. We almost had another one right there. Harrison Smith this time though, Breaks off the block and takes down Zeke Elliott, but a lot of running room right now on the ground. You see Dubby go from formation to formation, try and stop this ground game. Real no answer at this point. And what you're seeing in that power O is Orlando Franklin is the man pulling. He's your left guard right there. And he is a big time load in the blocking game. This will be the spot now Harrison Smith, you know, he saw that missed tackle earlier. When does he step up? A lot of hit power. He's the guy that can make be a difference maker right now in Dubby's defense. If he can get a clean hit on Elliott, that's the matchup to watch for. We're used to Dubby kind of grooving in the mode. Looking pretty serious. Of course, it is fourth and one. Big time play. Gonna need Elliott. There's no way Mills goes for this. I'm just telling you, and he does. And it is a first down. He flinched. I knew you were me. He I mean, that's flinched. great. John Madden football, we call that you cat and off. mouse. Awful. Awful. And he goes back to this eye formation, two tight ends, and then back to the running game. Come on, Sean! Yeah. Come on, Sean! 20 carries now for Ezekiel Elliott for Don't 143 shit, and a touchdown. Yeah, and the frustration you're hearing from Dubby is he's getting his big safeties, Smith and Taylor. They're not getting good hits on Elliott right now. That's what he's asking for. Stays in that cover three. And he's 2 to 38. Zach, what do you got, man? Figgy, Figgy, Figgy. Can't you see a wide open receiver underneath? Leads to the score 35 27. He's back in this one. Do you Sometimes think you just highlights hypnotize me. <laughs> do, you, do you guys stay up all night practicing this material? <laughs> what is that? What? Are you kidding me? One bad joke for Falls. One bad joke for Scott. We hired the writing staff from Seinfeld <laughs> to help us get these highlights in. And there's a broken tackle by Ezekiel Elliott. And lucky to be brought down. That was Brandon Watts with another tackle. And the story continues here. No answer, stopping the ground game. A lot of these power moves off the edge. Zeke Elliott breaking tackles. You look up and down Dubby's roster, who's gonna make the play for him? We're not even getting tackles at this point. There's Jackson hey, in that Don't get cute. Don't spell get cute. opportunity, and it did not look good. He had a big rush last time, and this time 
Loses three. And that's the stop he needs now on a second down, because now you force Mills to pass. This is not where he wants to be. Mills going to the air. Give me that. And that ball is on the ground, but recovered by Mills. That was green. Yeah, now both, jumped on it. Both players now fumble here. This is a user strip fumble by Dubby. Gets next to the ball carrier, strips the ball out. And Jackson rumbling, bumbling, stumbling to the 24 and throw up your fours. We're already in the fourth quarter, my man. This has been a fast quarter, both uh, with Mills running the ball a lot. This is now field goal. I mean, look at the, he's going for a field goal here. That's how confident he is in his defense. It's a, it's a very different player than the rest of the competition here at this field. A lot of people would go for it here. Last time we saw his defense, though, is Moss taking three guys to the house. <laughs> Let's go to Zach with a game break. Scott over here, it's Hollywood answering back, goes down to the I form, hands off the ball, his second long running touchdown to the left side. He's got a 42-27 lead right now. A lot of scoring over that game. 69 points between the two. And Dion knocked down at the 28. Sometimes I just feed chat some trolls. You gotta, you gotta beat it. give them some layups every once in a while, right? They'll, Make them happy, right? If you're not taking care of the chat, who is? No one is, right? True. Gotta be kind to the chat. Six point game. Dubby. Look at the stick work. Touchdown would give him a lead. Last time it was a bomb to Randy Moss. Play action. Heat off the right side, scrambling, and he'll throw it away. Smart decision there by Dubby. Yeah, it, it, he got caught there. He, he thought it was going to be that same nickel blitz off that slot. He wanted to hit the, the far right in pattern, but it was coverage off that side. He couldn't throw it. Got confused there, and that's where you see the stop on first down. Dubby and Hollywood coming up next, and then Mills and Figgy will get it on on the side stage. And game number two of the day. Cook. Oh, he don't like that. Nothing like when you pass it for like a gain that. of zero. Okay. Well, he, it's a good reason. He, like he got confused okay. once again. Take a look at the play distribution. Mills, 24 rushes to eight passes. Dubby, more pass oriented because he's been playing from behind in this one. Yeah, he's number two in the passing ratio. Throws it 71% of the time. Third and 10. McNabb finds Cook. And oh, Cook a with a big time a user fight. truck. A it takes a village to get Jared Cook to the ground. It's a big boy, Dubby, 12 for 19, a buck 86, two touchdowns. Going on a championship drive here, a touchdown will give him the lead. Tell you what, every time he motions that receiver over to the left slot, good things have been happening uh, for his offense. Coming up on 4-13 left again. in this game. Needs a touchdown drive here. Scrambles, quick throw, and this time it's Thomas, and Demarius has got some room to the 28-yard line. Dubby's in business. Amazing play by Dubby. Pressure off that right edge. He steps up in the pocket, finds Thomas. Great pocket composure by Dubby. A big-time play. Won't show up in the stat sheet, but it was a very critical play in this game. Motion from Thomas. Picks up the blitz. Has some time, and then... Moss just ran out of real estate. Zach, what's going on in that other game? Scott, it's your boy Figgy. Every time he's been answering back, goes for the end zone. High point hangs on 42-34, a minute and a half to go. Wow, one possession game over there between Hollywood and Figgy. And this crazy group G. Great play. Cook. Boy, has that Jared Cook really been the lifesaver. For Dubby. Yeah, dumping the ball off the short flat, letting the big man do work, truck over defenders, and now he's in business now. Ball on the 14. That's that NFL combine version of Cook. If you want to head to the auction house, I won't stop you. <laughs> First and 10 in the 14. He's in the red zone. Hands it off to Ricky Williams. And the former Longhorn will be taken down at the 11-yard line. Haven't seen much of Ricky Williams in this one. They have to trail from behind, getting into a lot of these uh, passing down situations. Haven't seen much of that Ricky Williams being able to dominate for Dubby. Second and eight. Thomas in motion. Johnson back of the end zone. Goes to Cook, and Cook gets lit up. 
Yeah, he had to get the ball quick there. Pressure screaming off that right edge. Had no choice but to dump the ball off quickly. And once again, you get into a tough spot here. You can run a little bit. You can pass a little bit. Difficult spot to be in. Got to watch for Cook over here in the bunch. He gets covered up this time, but goes to Moss. Really needed to get in there. He's down to the one. Yeah, Teach Me had a W right there. That was a phenomenal quick slant inside. That's the, we almost call that the backbreaker route from that formation because that's the last route you typically have to worry about, but very effective in short yard situations. High formation. Goal line set. W stuffed from this if you remember our last time here. We were in a goal line situation. Cat and mouse game, 2.28 to go. Two on the clock. Good, good sneak, D. Tries to go for that one second cheese, not having it. Yeah, and, and that's now the third straight QB sneak we've seen from Dubby get stuffed. So at some point, you must go away from it. Mills showing that he has the sneak defense set up. You typically have to move away from it. A defeated strategy at that point is the sneak. Look to a toss, look to a power row to try to counterbalance what you're seeing there. And he will go to the I formation. Watch out for the power row to the left side, and that's where he's going to go. Quick snap, and Ricky Williams. Why do you get a Ricky? Because he does work off the left edge. You called it out perfectly right there, the power row off that left edge. Now he's got the lead. Got Jay Mills exactly it's where he needs him to be. Like the key to this is a quick snap. Easy. Quick snap doesn't allow Jay Mills to get into position. Yeah. That's well, a stretch you see a lot of guys do. Come on, Sean. So now he's got a one point lead. Easy. Dion. He gets on, taken Sean. down at the 24. Zach, what's going on with Figgy? Over here, Scott. Fourth and five for the game. Hollywood to put it on ice. Comes up short. Figgy takes over on downs. Uh oh. We'll fill you in on his drive. That's my guy. Developing story. <laughs> my guy, Figgy. Right from Figgy all the way. Always, have yeah, always knew. And there Zeke fucking go. gets go, wrapped up at the 24. Up, it's only the fourth. We don't need you to the fourth. Pass the damn ball. Give him chirpy here. We don't need to the fourth. Asking for him to pass the ball, and here he goes. And he will, and he'll complete we'll it. We don't need y'all to the fourth. We'll to the fourth. Wow. Bum ass Legarius shit. Darius Green can't hang on. Yeah, and Dubby's starting to feel it here. And this is a big spot for Mills. Third and ten. Hasn't been in many of these situations all game. Big third down. Finds his man in the backfield. Zeke Elliott dives for the first down, but he's going to be just shy. Go. Fourth in the game. Let's go. Here we go. Watch for a quick run inside. Motion. Quick throw. He's got him there. Can he hold on? He will. Spins and gets out of bounds at the 42. Ladarius Green, you go and totally redeem yourself. That's a big time conversion for Jay Mills, and we're getting into that territory. We're going to have to start doing the math. For field goal range, you see Jordan uh, uh, Mills has Dan Carpenter as his field goal kicker. And see Kelly get to the edge. And he decides, hey, I'm just going to lay down because I, I don't want Jay Lorenzi to come over here and pop me. Yeah, he needs to get to maybe about the, no, he needs to get to about the 30 here to feel confident with a field goal with Dan Carpenter. And Elliot. Uh -oh. Just on a drive here. So Hollywood holds on in that Figgy game to win by five, 42-37. And so now he's 1-0. The question is, will he be facing a 1-0 Dubby or an 0-1 Dubby? It's going to be all about stopping the run here. And this time it's Darius Jackson. Goes nowhere, and there's the first timeout by Dubby. Yeah, Dubby really protecting that 30-yard line. That's the area of the field where Mills is going to feel comfortable kicking a field goal. Back to Jackson. Jackson. Come on, man. Whoa. Had some daylight there. Picks up five. Dan Carpenter is his kicker. He's a 79 overall. Where's he got to get to have a chance? You got to feel great if you can get to the 30. That's going to make it about a 47-yard field goal. Play action. Quick throw. Let's go. Let's go. And Demonte. a play. I need it. Missed opportunity. Bomb, Take By your three a 65 overall, Demonte. Who?
Wide open tight end right there. He misses it, goes to the wrong receiver. Those are snap decisions. Only Monster is the best in the business. Here we go, baby. Fourth and four. Fourth and four. He's going for it. He's not going to take the 56 yarder. Here comes the blitz. Wide open is Ezekiel Elliott out of the backfield. Amazing. Cue the Price is Right sound. John Madden football just Love shot the Brandon the Watts. Underneath the, the streak, and that is how you win God, a ball game. So but now bad. he still has to kick a field goal here to win. You know, you got the bench concept. You got everyone to the sideline, and then Ezekiel Elliott sneaks out of the backfield. Big time first down. I'm not sure why he's not kneeing the ball. I would be kneeing the football here. Yeah, yeah I mean, that why run hits. a play? Why run a play? There's no you point. Take a knee. There is no point. <laughs> In running a play, he's going to kick the field goal. Don't goes it. Oh, you don't do it like that, buddy? Yeah. And Dubby runs off sides to get into I still take mine. field goal block. I, I still take another knee here. Yeah, he's going to give Dubby the chance here. I take a yeah, knee. You, you have three timeouts. You take it down to two seconds. We've seen it. I mean, we saw two kick returns yesterday. Does he squib it here? But he still would give Play Dubby smart, an opportunity smart, to get man. field goal range if he squibs. Play smart. He's going to kick here it deep. Go. It He's going to run it out of there. Deion Sanders. Need a mad miracle. If you didn't go for no fourth down, you win the game. Let's go. And Dubby's got one play to avoid. An 0 and 1. That would that would have him losing four straight. Four straight at EA Majors is correct. Now, if you're Dubby, look for Moss as your guy here. Of course, the last time he won, he won the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So that's not bad. We from Dallas, baby. Let's go. And the man from D Town. And we won and 0. Hauling out his hometown. And we won and 0. And he, you are. Let's go. Facts. Go. You are speaking facts, my friend. Facts only. Go. Bandana Mills gets the victory. And Dubby, listen, that was a great <laughs> way to end that <laughs> match up there. That was a great point. Mills that won that game. No one, no one lost that game. That's what you want to see in a competitive game in Madden. Mills just went out and got a W there at the end. It was a, came down to that last play. Uh, you saw Dubby takes away those short flats on that bench concept. And then, listen, the last line of defense is the halfback out of the backfield. Got playmakered upfield. And there it is. That's the game. Let's be honest. He had a tight end open for a touchdown. He did. He did. <laughs> and Missed. just couldn't lob pass it yeah. in. But in my opinion, the guy that played better won. Yeah, great execution from Mills. Dubby real no answer to stop the run. And, and that's the really the reason what ended up causing him to lose. Let's go down to the third member of our broadcast team, Drea. Take it away. Thanks, Scott. Well, Mills, congratulations. Down the stretch there, it got kind of testy and kind of tight. What did you think of the fortitude you were able to show to get through that? Man, he's a fighter, man. He's he a man, so, you know. I mean, I'm a fighter, too, but he couldn't stop the run, so I was, I was going to, you know, feed him. Feed him. Yeah, you kept saying feed him, feed him. Well, there you go. Well, you just beat the Madden Bowl champion. I know you have a ton of respect for Dubby. Yeah, man. yeah how much of a lift does this give you just to open the group in the way that you did today? Uh, it's a big lift because I almost lost to him, but I was really expecting just to blow him out. So he fought, man. So I got to give him his credit. Well, I got to give it to you. You brought plenty of juice to the stage. We look forward to seeing what you do the rest of the day. Let's send it to Dave and the gang. Thank you, Drea.